What's going on, guys? Back with another episode of Bull Bases Beat Sesh. You know, it's a nice little, like, I actually kept it to um, a month. I mean, it was a month, like, a couple days ago. But I got a new buddy on for the set today. His name's Nick. Goes by What's Carmen. Going on? How's it going? He, uh, play he made the song Hell of It that we played last time. Great song, by the way, buddy. Appreciate Love it. Love it. He's got another song that's out, you know. And, uh, yeah. What do you think of the mix? The mix is sick. It's kind of it's kind of dope to hear like music that I haven't really been like like introduced to ever. Yeah, exactly. So like given given a good like spectrum of my uh my musical knowledge, etc. Yeah. Well, I should probably actually say like what we played because I forgot to say that because normally when I come in, For I sure. actually say like, "Oh, I would so you just heard uh, Apollo by Hardwell, gotcha. but also the Ultra Edit too. You also heard Secrets by Tiesto and Cashmere, featuring Vassy, Mammoth with Dimitri Vegas and McGuay. <laughs> um, new track because like I was playing classics. Anyway, this is like what I grew up on, but uh, it's a newer track. It fit the whole vibe. Mm. But uh, Dynamite by W and W and Blaster Jacks, and we finish it off with Tsunami. By I never actually know how to like say his name, but like I just say it's like D V B B S in all caps. Dubs. It's dubs, dubs dude. It's dubs. So I don't dude, know it's why dubs, bro. Dude, like I don't know why <laughs> I should probably know that. Like I'm, I'm I should know that. <laughs> it's all about the letter change. It's all about the letter change. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, we're back. You know, it makes it sound good. That's what I kind of grew up on. I wanted to ask you. Like what you kind of grew up because I grew up like listening to like Hardwell. I listened to like you probably don't know the names. I don't. Like, I yeah, know. I listened to like Martin Garrix, Hardwell, okay. like yeah. a lot of like names that have been in the industry for a while, right? Mm. It was like I kind of got into kind of like what's called like big room and like progressive house and stuff like that because it was just like easier to hear on the ears than just yeah. going like blah, 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 for sure. Blah, blah, blah. Like you the hard I mean? EDM, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to ask you what what did you how, what how did you get to like where you are and like you know like a music standpoint okay so pretty much like since i was like a baby i've been like listening to music because of my parents my my mom loves alternative rock from the 90s pearl jam soundgarden even some heavy metal like she loves that i, I don't i didn't really into it before but um and then my dad loves the beatles um U2, Bon Jovi, a bunch of things like that, a bunch of bands like that. So I started listening to everything my parents listened to. Okay. And then I was kind of just like, wow, this is awesome. Uh, I should branch off into the music that I want to listen to. And then it kind of like, it kind of shifted when I started hanging out with people who also listened to music, like, or when people like my age started listening to music as well, because then they showed me like, Oh, this is a, I, I got shown Biggie at school one time and it was like the craziest thing to me, man. Like I was like, these flows are just nuts. I was listening to like YMCMB before that, like a lot of like that, like 20, 2000, 2005, 2010, like rap hip hop type stuff. And then just got shown that old school and I was like, yo, this is it. Like hip hop is it for me. Like it was like that for a bit. And then through the past couple years of making music as well as like listening to other people's music, I've just been open to so much more. And I've been like, yo, rap and hip hop's not the only thing that I like actually. So oh no, for real. Listening. Like legit, like as you kind of grow up, like you kind of stick to one thing, right? Like, for me, it was a little different, right? My parents like didn't really like my dad, my mom, like my mom listened to music, but like not horribly much. Like when we were like driving like to Winnipeg, so I would go see her. Um, I get dropped off in like Kenora and everything. We'd swap vehicles. And like with my dad, I just watched movies usually the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. But so he didn't ever actually really have like music playing throughout the house or anything like that. So I didn't really figure out music till I was probably a teenager. For sure. Like till I was like 13 or something like that. We went to like Panorama mm -hmm. and like we got this little like, you know, like when you're a kid and you're like taking videos of you guys doing like little like jumps or going like, like that much off the ground. Yeah, Whoa, yeah. sick air, dude. You're like, oh my gosh. Wow. Hell but yeah. like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not even like a lot of air. So we were doing that off this little side jump we made and everything on the hill. Mm. And uh, we ended up playing like Levels by Avicii over like behind it. Oh my gosh. That it's a was, great song. And that was my first track I downloaded on iTunes. Oh, yeah, I was a big iTunes person for the longest time. Yes, yeah, For same. a long time. I, I had like probably iTunes. like 1,300 tracks on iTunes. 
There you go. Now Stack think of like how up. much money I spent on iTunes. For sure. Yeah, That's it was crazy. like a dollar twenty nine for a good track back then, like a popping track. Ninety nine cents for a not really popping track. And then it went up to a dollar ninety nine. You know, like twelve ninety nine an album. Oh my gosh, yeah. bro, it's crazy. Crazy. But like, <laughs> bro, I'm just saying, like, music actually is kind of sick. When I came to the school, I definitely like feel like I came like way more open. But at the same time, like you know, you said like you're listening to like Bon Jovi, like some of the mm-hmm. older people, right? I didn't get that. That's the thing. Like we're like because we had a class where like we had a, a genres class yeah, where we listened to genres. like a lot of older stuff and everything like that. But like the thing was, I didn't know any of these tracks except for like I knew them kind of, but like barely. Mm-hmm. Like if someone like played it, I couldn't say like this. This is guy. This yeah, this guy. Yeah, exactly. This guy and like this is the name of the song. No, that's not me. I was like I was uh, I was uh, I was you know I was struggling through that class a little bit. I was yeah. vibing with the music, but like at the same time, like I was like sitting there like I was sitting there like legit kind of frustrated. Like, I sit there back and go, so I'm like rock. What the fuck? I don't even know any of these tracks. <laughs> For sure. That's the thing, though. We went through, like, 1940s to 2000s, right? Exactly. So, lots of music there. Uh, like, that's that's the beauty of music, though. There's always going to be something new for you. It's always going to be something that you love and and you find, like, you learn to love almost. Like, not necessarily learn, but when you find the music, you're like, Damn. I actually love this music. Like, I never thought listening to hard rap, like, you know, lots of, lots of swearing, lots of aggression, (laughs) right? I I would switch to, like, a year or two ago, I kind of shifted a bit and stopped listening to that because I wanted to, for it to not influence my rap as much. I wanted to make my own, like, style. So I started listening to, like, some pop punk and then also some, like, slow, like, Vance Joy, Ed Sheeran, um goody grace a couple people like that just like slow acoustic songs it's just beautiful all music oh for real bro um the other thing i want to talk about was like because i haven't mentioned this yet we've been recording this whole time like we got like angles and stuff we got like you you and the one that you're pointing at right there yeah that's right (laughs) and uh yeah we got a whole set going out here we got the avici poster the alps we got like some pills and pluses and diamonds and lines going across the screen for like an hour uh we got the on air symbol we got the corona hey hey by the way if you guys want to sponsor our podcast that would be freaking awesome i love your beer (laughs) sponsor the podcast Please, please sponsor me (laughs) <laughs> please send a case like every time we go to record please send me like a whole case because i actually do drink a lot of beer when uh, i mean uh the leaves kind of lost tonight so i have been drinking a little bit more than last time with logan so it's fair like i'm i'm, I'm fine i'm i'm fine don't look dad don't be disappointed in me okay i can handle my liquor okay i know what i'm doing i might have class tomorrow but listen okay i can sleep in <laughs> As long as it's not too early. Exactly. Well, it's like... <laughs> there we go. We got a malfunction on set. Oh, no my worries, gosh. No worries. No worries. Oh, my gosh. The set's been destroyed. The you may as well just, like, destroyed. flip over the tables at this point. Like, we may as well just, like, you know, like, tear the TV off the wall. Give it a little, like, oh, a little no. knee across the... <laughs> we need to wait. We need to wait. Here. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Bring, yeah, bring that down. That'll be good. Look at that. Is that good? Nope. <laughs> you know what's the problem little, uh, is? Is that the tripod is like sitting there like it's not like, it's like angled it's, it's angled in the wrong it's, spot. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. We got a little bag here. We got a little backpack here. There we go. We're adding to the we'll set right now. Adding to the, just a little uh set manipulation. You know here. what? It's like it's fine. Like at the same time, like you know what? Like this troubleshooting, guys. Listen, like this is the first episode with video. Okay, shit, this, shit this is this, this stuff happens. Okay, this is like. This is like stuff you don't get to see. Like still we real planned, life. we planned to record at ten because like these guys got off at like nine forty five, like for class. We planned to start recording at ten. It was going to be supposed to be an easy setup, start recording, be done by eleven, eleven thirty. It is eleven thirteen right now. We're recording <laughs> the first segment. <laughs> yeah, it's only been like ten minutes, probably. Hey guys upstairs, please like, please like, please, please like. No, no noise complaints. We'll be done soon. We'll be done soon. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll wrap it up. Like, but at the same time, I am gonna keep talking. And everything like that. For um, sure. I got my Gotta little, keep it rolling, I got my little baby. trusty, uh, my little trusty notebook here. It's got like a bunch of, a bunch of stuff on here. Um, so here. Oh, oh, Nick and Joe's Cleaning Co. Jeez, bringing it back, baby. <laughs> we have so you know, as a music producer and everything like that, as an artist, we don't make any money. No. So we have to figure out other business plans. 
one of our business plans was um, our engineer here behind the scenes, behind like camera, that that big, this camera that's like recording all of us, room might have been like a little bit messy, like a, a little, little, little bit, bit of messy, everything. Bit. He's everywhere. he's kind of, he's shaking his head right he's now because like, he hates that I'm talking he's about like, I this can't right now. I'm getting he's roasted currently right like flipping the both of us off. Yeah, that's that but, was a um, double flip. We decided we were gonna start a company because we decided we we're both really good at like cleaning stuff up. So we we're gonna say we we're like gonna make a cleaning company. Nick and Joe's Cleaning Co. Cleaning and it rhymes. Co. It rhymes. Like we could make a like we could make a song talking about our thing. Like how sick would that be? Definitely. Biggie would be proud. Biggie would be <laughs> <laughs> But uh I I also did not actually help in the cleaning of the room. No, not really. But to be fair, you were there in spirit. I was there, like my mind was there. Like exactly. my mind, I presently wanted to be there, but at the same time, like there was Night at the Museum playing on the TV, and I was like, "Priorities, baby." That's the thing. I haven't was, seen that movie in so long. Exactly, Ben Stiller just absolutely killing it. For real, absolutely killing it, dude. My favorite thing, like, oh, dude, you know what I love? Looking at old movies and realizing, like, the animation is actually pretty good in these old movies. Mm-hmm. Like you, just, you forget. But For you know, sure. you ever here and there, you look at an old movie, like say, like here's a good one, Jimmy Neutron. You look at that, and you're just like. Bro, this looks like someone made like this on like prop hunt, like Wait. on Gmod. Yeah, 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 like choppy, choppy, a little choppy. It's so yeah. bad, bro. For it's sure. so bad. But bro, we got like a lot of good music like lined up for today. Um, I think this is a good little section. I think we should go and you know start playing some more music. Yeah, um, for sure. Grabbing my notebook, you know, and everything like that. Um, I got some more Elenium because your boy is still on the Elenium train. Let's go. That. I know you don't know who that I don't, is, even. But I'm down to be on it. Put me on. Oh, we have uh, The Weeknd dropped an album. So we got a couple yeah. songs uh, by him that's yeah. about to play. Have you heard the album yet? Yeah, Dawn FM. It's really good, actually. I you really, have heard the album. I, I have, but not like thoroughly. I haven't like sat down and listened to myself, but like my brothers played it while we we're working out. So I've definitely heard songs. Like I know the. The last song, uh, Jim's outro or something, Jim Speaks or um, something, that, that shit hits the heart, man. You listen to what he says, man? Find, you got to find your Google. For real. For real. We also have a, a track coming by Arizona, Arizona, <laughs> Arizona Zervis called Snowman, which is really fitting because we got like two feet, maybe more than that, of snow like in Toronto, which is freaking crazy. Yep, definitely. But, Lots uh, of snow. Yeah, no, we're going to go back into the music and everything like that. So let's go and play some music. Boop, boop, mm, boop. Mm, let's raise mm, the roof, but mm, not too loud because mm. we don't want to noise complain. Don't want to noise complain. <laughs> couple, couple tracks. What a couple, 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 couple tracks. Yeah, that's a, that's English. That's grammar. Uh, yeah, no, I almost failed my, my English in high school. That is why I'm here doing music because I can't speak unless like I'm just speaking. Um, but anyways, a <laughs> couple tracks like God Damn It by Elenium. And uh, Call Me Charisma, uh, Sacrifice by The Weeknd. We said we had a couple tracks by The Weeknd on their new album and everything like that there. His new album. Is, yeah. uh, Less Than Zero, also by The Weeknd. Mm-hmm. And Snowman by Arizona Zarvis, which you said you actually really Great liked. Because you said track. there was this one bar that you actually really liked. Which was uh, Put on the Ice like Gretzky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just caught some ice up here like Gretzky. Gretzky. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I fuck with that, bro. 99, baby. For real, man. Beautiful. Oh man, I love that stuff. Like for real. Like the, so, here's what I think. Elenium, I played it last time. And I think like the vibe is really good. For this sure. one I really liked. Like, like this is an older song, but um, I really like that he has like the, the guitars in it are really nice. I love that it's got like that like nice little like singing segment. It's got the feature bass segment, and it's got kind of like a little bit of, like kind of like a rap segment actually. Yeah, like, a, like it's a, actually like kind of really cool. Like a vibey rap type thing. Like it's like, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Um. What did you like? What What was your favorite song so far? Like in that mix, like so we had like the two weekend songs, mm-hmm. right? And we had the uh, Snowman, mm-hmm. and we had Goddamn It by Elenium. I gotta say the first weekend song. I don't know the name off by heart. I think that one was Sacrifice. Yeah, Sacrifice. That's a that's a good one. It's just good vibes. But I really fuck with that Snowman song, man. That's I'm gonna listen to that. Add that to my playlist. What's the guy's name again? Uh, Arizona Zarvis. Arizona Zarvis. Yeah. Fire. If you're ever um, watching this. That's what. That's the thing I like. I like about the podcast is I can bring you guys on because, like, say you're more of a rap guy. Mm-hmm. Logan is more like EDM, so he can listen to songs. He's like, I know this for sure. Yeah. Right. But um, say I love like bringing like guests like you on where mm-hmm. like you guys don't know the music because like I the way I like doing this podcast is like we like drinking beer. Um, obviously, like you're you're, I'm you're driving. chilling, you're driving, I'm he's driving. chilling. 
Um, I live here, so I am. Uh, cheers to all my homies out there. You know, like let's go drinking responsibly. Woo! Full send. Fully sent. Let's go, baby. All right. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, about the songs. How you like to come on, bring a variety of artists or people. Right. Yeah. So like bringing you guys on, it's like, it's, I love bringing, like, I love drinking on the podcast and it's like, cause I love this. So for this podcast, like it's serious, it's got a little bit of a serious, but I like having that, like just freedom flow of everything. Like we're mm -hmm. playing music. You guys can vibe out while you're studying and stuff like that. But like at the same time, you get to listen to this, some stupid conversations about <laughs> like, for one, I, so this feels really weird because I got you, I got that camera like pointing at me. And I got that camera. We got both this camera pointing at you. And you got your camera pointing at you right there. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. But um, it kind of puts more of a spotlight on. For don't sure. You feel? For sure. It's definitely a, a different vibe than just recording audio. I'm used to being in my, uh, my booth. So it's definitely different with the cameras. But getting used to that, though, you know. But at the same time, it feels like we're on a TV set. Like, it feels yeah. like, bro, I feel like I'm on, like, I'm in the morning on that morning news, except for Right now, it is clearly not morning. No, no. <laughs> night, the night news got the crew in the back. You already know. Shout out to the crew in the back. Technician, Let's go. I don't know baby. the thing. Hey, I got a little bit left. Cheers to you. Let's go. He's already finished it. That's my cheers without a drink. Cheers. Woo! All right. <laughs> but um, you know what else made me feel like a spotlight? So our bathroom. One of the lights. So we, there's two main lights, right? Um. One of the lights was burnt out, like, since I got back from my winter break. Mm -hmm. But I, so today I went to the store. I was like, I need to get some shampoo because, like, for one, I need a cut because I look dusty as fuck. That's why I have a hat on today. <laughs> it's fun to be out be in the lockdown, bro. It's that lockdown, man. And plus Toronto, bro, like, it's so much more expensive to get a haircut here. Oh, my God. Sure, bro. <sighs> for sure. Bro, it freaking sucks. Yeah. But um, I finally, when I was getting the shampoo... I was like, I should get a new light. Because I was like, it's like, it's a dollar fifty for mm -hmm. a light when I saw. And I was like, I don't know if this light will fit. But I was like, I figured like, well, I'll grab it. I'll have the receipt. If it doesn't work, I'll just return it. Mm -hmm. right? But um, I put it in and everything like that. Holy cow, was the bathroom ever just bright, bro? <laughs> it was freaking crazy. And you know what's even more crazy? It's like the sp Dude, same thing. Spotlight. It felt like I was being watched. And it's like, I'm sitting there taking a shit. Like, I'm sitting there like just. About to absolutely lay out a fucking steamer. Just destroy the toilet. I was absolutely about to destroy the toilet. Because I had ramen. Like spicy ramen Ooh. today. So like it's sitting there going through my digest my digestive system, right? And it's like, it's like, I need to come out right now. And I'm like, okay. Let's negotiate. Let me get to the toilet. For sure. So you gotta... You gotta give it some time, you know? It's gotta give you some time, you know? You the ramen. And the you and the, and the shit... Need to negotiate a good time to shit. There needs to be a treaty. There needs to be a treaty. Like, because otherwise, like, because, like, it, you need to have a fair game. Because, like, otherwise, like, what are you going to do? Like, you're just like, if you anger your shit, you're just going to shirt yourself. Exactly. It's game over. You're running. I'm wearing white runner. jeans. Bro, I do not want to shirt myself right now. No, no. No that'd be, way, man. That'd be shit on the pod. Literally shit on the podcast. Yeah, like, you know what? Like, you say, you'd be able to smell. Like, they'd be smell. I don't. Oh, yeah. You know what? It probably would smell so bad. It, you'd be able you guys out there would probably smell it through the fucking mic. Through the mic, man. It, it picks up scent if it's that bad. Dude, it's ramen, man. And it's spicy ramen. <laughs> spicy, too. You already know that's hurting you when you're going, man. It's like, you're sitting on the toilet like, oh, fuck. Anyways, so I was sitting on the toilet, right? I was sitting there thinking like, bro, this light is over top of me and it's so bright in here. I feel like I just like, I've been trying to sneak out of prison with my, literally my pants down. And this spotlight just goes like, -ching! it's like, it's on me. Like, bro, like, legit, like, chill, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying to shit in peace. And now I'm like, I now I, I feel like people are watching me. Like, bro, like, I'm trying to calm my nerves so I can just be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And hear the nice little, like, spoosh. Yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's the thing with the light on. Oh, man, it's. It's all these sounds. You can't even hear the good spadoosh, bro. It's like, <laughs> it's like all these sounds are coming from like just the ambience. It's like, oh my God, man. Can we sample? <laughs> it might have to be sampled. It might have to be. It might have to be sampled. Do you yeah. ever like, you know, like, do you ever like just sit there, like you walk, you, you get up, you put your pants on, right? And like you finish wiping, <laughs> you're like, bro, like, okay, fine. You, okay, for, I got two different things right here, okay? 
So do you ever just stand up, you look down, you flush the toilet, and you sit there and you go, you walk out of that bathroom and you're sitting there like, that was a good shit. Yeah, for sure. Because you feel it in your yeah. stomach. You're letting out all that shit, bro. Literally, yeah. that that buildup, bro, like that waste. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. But sometimes, bro, I'm telling you, sometimes you like you sit there and you're just like, that was a good shit. I felt good after that. But then there's some shits where you go and you walk out of the bathroom and you're just sitting there like, bro, that fucking, like, that was not it. Bro, I feel you. Man, the other night, I was trying to go, like, I ate too late. I had a bunch of bagels throughout the day, lots of cream cheese. And I, and I went to the washroom. I'm like, okay, bless. Time to go to bed now. I think I'm getting to bed early. I'm like, I lay down. I'm like, yo, I got to shit again, bro. <laughs> so now I got to get up. I go. And it was just, it's too long. I ended up going to bed like an hour later because of this stupid shit, man. So much cream cheese, bagels, bread. Brutal. The other thing I hate, you you know when you got like, okay, so like what, uh, so like, you know when you got like, like a, your normal shit, right? And you taste like about like, you wipe it like, I don't know, three, four, five times, right? Yeah. You ever have those ones that you just like, you're sitting there, like you're just, you're just sitting there for like bro. 20 minutes and you're sitting there just, you're like, just when what? It, yeah, when's it going to end? Am what? I going to run out of toilet paper? Like, and then once you're out of toilet paper, then what do you do? You're, you're sitting there, you still have shit on your exactly, ass. Exactly, bro. Like you ever had the opposite though? The ghost shit? You just have none? Dude, no, you those wipe ones... and there's none. You're like, oh, buddy, bro, those ones blow my mind. I'm sitting there, like, dude, in, and it'll be something like it'll feel like, bro, like this is leaving something on my ass. But then when you go to wipe and you're sitting there, like, bro, like there's nothing there. What, like, what you're, happened? Yeah, you're thinking, like, okay, did I really shit? And then you check, you're like, I, I shit though. You, you, you take a little, like, <laughs> and oh, like, I don't know oh. if I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I do that, but like. But it's all you, man. You well, I'm just it. saying, sometimes you can smell it. Oh, like, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, oh, yeah, you're you not. Smell. You're saying just in the air, not like close. You don't no, get into it. No, I'm not saying. It. I'm not, I'm yeah, not dipping not. down. I'm not going like. Oh, okay, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. I misinterpreted what you were saying there. I, I, I ain't that weird. Okay. You got to use, you gotta use wipes though, man. Like some people just like, even actually me, like I say some people, but me, bro. Like it's kind of gross to only use toilet paper because if you think about it, it doesn't really clean, bro. It's just like paper, like wiping the surface. And when you get the wipe in there, you get more and you're like, oh, wow, that would have stuck to my ass for the entire day. Gross. You know? You, you know what I hate? I hate this, okay? Schools and hotel toilet paper. Ooh, rough, bro. Thin, rough. Like, it's like you got to like, it's like you're using a thin napkin. You know what it feels like? It feels like I'm using a fine ass Greatest sandpaper. Throw some, uh, throw some, uh, 180 in there. Just <laughs> some 180 grit just going in. Bro, it's not that hard to get decent toilet paper. Like, there's got to be, like, when you're buying in bulk, like, go to Costco. Yeah. Go to Costco bro, and get a Costco's fucking massive thing of toilet paper. Man. For sure. Costco. I get there's a lot of people going through, like, there's a lot of traffic going through this toilet, right? But at the same time, bro, just get some decent, like, something, like, at least a little bit more decent, because, bro, I hate when, you know what I hate? I hate when you get to thin-ass toilet paper, and, like, you're going to wipe, and you know what happens? And it's ripping up. The finger just goes, ooh, right through. And you look at it, and you're like, oh. <laughs> you're like, bro, like, I don't see, what do you do? Like, what do you do? What do, you, do you just continue? You just grab another piece? Do you grab another piece? Well, do you wipe it? Or do you, like, whoa. do you stand up, and then, like, you got shit all over your fucking yeah, ass Yeah, no, nah, I feel like you just got to finish... Like, and then clean your hand after, bro. Like, For real. I think, you know what I do? I do the the cheeky little, like, grab one piece and the little, like, wipe. Stuff it down. Yeah, exactly. And continue my job. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Continue my business. The job must be done. <laughs> um. Anyways, off the shit talk. Yeah, bro, <laughs> that was a lot of shit. And that was a lot of shit that we talked about. Damn. Yeah, lots. <laughs> Went off on a tangent um, there. Anyways, the line, I um, I just got some ice like Gretzky. We were having a conversation about how you wanted to hit the ice. Bro, so bad. I haven't played hockey in like probably two or three years. I haven't actually played in like two or three years. I probably was on the ice like a year and a half ago, but like not even. Like I'll have to sharpen my skates, everything, bro, like for sure. Bro, I, I haven't like – so I played hockey for like a long time. Like, if you look at me, like, dude, there's a stick behind me. For sure. I'm wearing a Leafs jersey and everything. I drink beer. Like, bro – do i beer. not just scream like this is a hockey kid yeah for sure bro for sure but like bro like i'm just saying like mm, i don't actually know what i was saying now because i would start talking about the stick and the jersey and that just just how you're a hockey guy bro like yeah no yeah. hockey's like a way of life for sure 
And you know Canadian. what? Like, well, you know what happened was like, so I remember actually what I was talking about. I played hockey for like a long time as a kid, right? Well, I got this like, so eventually got to this point where like, like I was sitting, like I was in pain, right? And this doc, and the, I went to the doctor for it, and he said like, you have to stop all physical activity. I'm like, so like hockey? And he said, and they're like, yeah, no, you're you you're done hockey, bro. As a kid, like, dude, I was like. I was actually bawling my eyes out. For I sure, there, like, bro. This is what I want to do. Like, I want to play hockey, and like, and like, and I couldn't play hockey. And so, like, like three years passed. Like, I think after, I think after a year and a half or two years, I was allowed to go play hockey again because I was like, I was healed up, I was better, mm-hmm. and I could play hockey. But the thing is, it's been so long. I haven't like strapped on the skates. I didn't have any equipment. I was like sitting there, like thinking, like, I don't need it. But Christmas one year. We go to the sports check and everything. We didn't even just go to the sports check. We went to this other skate shop and everything. Dude, it was like, like, bro, there was like, m- like mountains of skates and sticks and jerseys everywhere. And bro, it was all cheap. Like it was all like, it was like really good quality skates, but like for good pricing. True, say a word. So yeah. I got my skates. That's like two, three years ago, probably. Mm-hmm. I haven't sharpened my skates since then, except for like when I went to go to the uh, ODR this year. And bro, oh my gosh. So like skating last year was like, I thought like, yeah, oh yeah, I'm slick on my skates. I'm going to whop, 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 dinger off the freaking crossbar. Let's go. <laughs> and then, um, you know, what happened like was that uh, I sharpened my skates this year and I realized, bro, I'm so good at hockey when like my skates are sharpened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a hockey guy thing to say. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But uh, that doesn't. That doesn't adhere to the fact that I am going to destroy you and break your ankles, though. You do understand. You might have to tape them up after. You might have to put the laces around while you're tying your skates. Bro, listen, tape them up. You don't shin even pads know. taped. Everything. The whole I'm deal. Showing up to the, I'm showing up to the rink. Not even the Leafs jersey. I'm throwing on a different jersey. I'm going to be skating circles around you and everything. Dangling your fucking ass and everything oh, like yeah, that. Oh, bro, yeah. I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't even be like using, you know, like puck work. Everything like, bah, 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 bah. nah, bro. I'd be sitting there like dangling you on the ice. You're gonna be on the ice, dude. The Zambo needs to be coming up to clean your ass off that <laughs> ice. It's gonna be like, dude, they're gonna have to come in with a shovel. That's scrape me off and just go like, damn, and just try to scrape you off like plankton when he gets stepped on by SpongeBob. <laughs> just scraping me off. For real. We'll have to uh, we'll have to take a video to prove that to everyone. We'll have to uh, see how this goes. Yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna have a little one on one here. It's uh gonna be sick. The other thing I want to talk about. Um, can we talk about the hockey thing? We're gonna rent For ice, sure. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's do me. it. We're gonna get some ice I'm going down. and everything like that. Bro, we can get a whole thing, man. Like taking it's like 120 bucks for an hour, or like 150. You get like six people, bro. That's all. Yeah, it's yeah. like 20 bucks each. So the next thing I want to talk about, like so. Me, I'm a, I'm a big chain smokers fan, right? Everything like that. And they are back. Two years like ago, they decided like they dropped their album. I mean, they finished their tour and they decided we're gonna go on a hiatus. We're gonna work on the new album, mm-hmm. right? This, the fourth album. And we're like, okay, give it like a give like a half a year, right? For sure. Like, no, half a year pass. Like they've taken everything off their Instagram. They've taken everything off everything, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and it's like it's fucked. And it's like, what the fuck? What happened? Like, everything's mm-hmm. blacked out. You don't get to see anything. Two years, like, another year passes. And you're sitting there like, okay, this is it. They're going to drop something. Nothing happens. Mm-hmm. Two years, like, almost two years later, they finally break hiatus. But you know what happens? They bring in these, like, other random guys. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, what the fuck? And everything like that. But then I sat there and I thought about it. I'm like, this is actually a really good business plan. Because, like, when you think about it, you're going to come back as like, say you, you say you, you're gone for two years. You come back and you're like, you just come back normal, right? Like, mm-hmm. hey, we're back, right? Right? Like, your fans are going to be like, oh my gosh, they're back. But the people who don't listen to you as much, they're thinking, they're, they're sitting there thinking like, oh, well, they're back, right? Yeah, he, yeah, this guy's back. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah, like, whatever. Right? Okay, mm-hmm. they're dropping music soon. Okay. Mm-hmm. But what's cool is that like when they brought the two random guys, I thought about it. I was like, this brings in attention. Like, because they had like a whole thing on SiriusXM. Like, they had a whole interview, like, with these two, like, these two other guys. Mm-hmm. And, like, they played a show in Vegas, like, a couple times with these two other guys and everything oh, like that. true. And well, it was crazy. Yeah. I'm sitting there, like, thinking, like, this catches eyes. Like, when you, like, when they say they're back, but when they come back, it's not them. There's these other two guys, this random Donnie's just, like, behind the, like, the, behind the turntables playing music. It's like, 
what the fuck is going on? And you actually sit there and think like, what's going on? Like, uh, I actually have a clip and I was going to show you. Um, So here, just press the space bar. And then like. These are the random guys, eh? Yeah. Okay. The shock value. Like that so, catches attention. So were all those people waiting for the chain smokers? Oh, that's the yeah, that's, that's, that's the other crazy. thing. You know what? I'd actually I would like be a little bit pissed. Yeah, a, li- a little. If especially if you paid for a ticket for the chain smokers and it was just people DJing. And we're talking about like Vegas too. Well, yeah, like, that's the thing. It's probably uh, it's probably a pretty penny over there. It's a pretty penny probably for a ticket. Like you're saying, you're going there to like it's one of the big clubs too. I play like for the DJs and everything. It's a, mm-hmm. one of the big clubs. Yeah, like. And everything, and you're sitting there. You bought a ticket. You're waiting in line and everything like that. You, they had the boards like with these new guys on it and everything. But you go there and everything like that. You're sitting there going to the chain smokers, and you still hear their music. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, at the time you're going there like to see the like you know the Those, artists. Yeah, for sure. That's like the, that's the that's the value. That's who you're going to going to watch their show. You know. But at the same time, I actually would have loved to be there because at the same time you're sitting there getting a video. Like how many times do you get to like go like say like yeah I went to this artist show but it wasn't them. Right. Exactly. Yeah, and but it was legit, though. Like, oh. do they look like the Chainsmokers? Not I don't. at all. Okay, man. that's what Not I was wondering because I actually don't know what the Chainsmokers look like. I know their music, but I I don't know what they look like. So that's well, even more funny. One of the funny. things was it was like it was funny on the Sirius XM like uh, interview. They they came out and they were like, they, and like one of the like the girl was like. You guys look a little bit different. Did you change something? He's like, yeah, I changed my hair, cut a little bit, you know, like, you know, like I put in a little bit extra weight in that. It is. <laughs> Bro, it's just jokes. It's so funny, actually. Like, to, like, dude, like, that's what we're doing right now. We got like a little interview going. With, Genius, like, um, though. That's actually a great idea, man. Like, and it's, it's unique. You don't see someone coming out with random people using their name, but it's actually legit, though. You know what I mean? It's like, a ballsy tactic, that's for sure. For sure. Like, because you, you sit there, like, you kind of, like, it's something, like, you probably sit down, and you probably think, like, would that work? But, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's probably something, like, you sit down, and you think, like, is this going to work, or is it not? You know what I mean? And then when you, and you don't know until you do it, and, like, see what happens, right? It's like most things in life. Say, I don't know, like, say, if, like, say, this could either be genius, or it's just, like, you know, it's just kind of funny. Yeah. It's, it's one or the other. <laughs> or could flop and everyone's like, what the hell? Yeah, no, for real. Well, that was me for a second. I was like sitting there like thinking like, what the fuck is yeah. this? Yeah, but it makes you like dig deeper though. Because you're like, okay, are these guys like like imposters? Like, are they, did they kidnap the chain smokers? Oh my gosh, you <laughs> imagine they're sitting there like they're like, yeah. showing up to Vegas. They got them tied up in the van yeah. in the back and everything like that. They're like, yo, what's going on guys? We're the motherfucking chain smokers. And then everyone's sitting there going like, what? <laughs> no, you're not. Like, no, you're not. Cause you okay, you, but that's the thing. Imagine you go up there and everything is like, where well, the motherfucking chain smokers? They pop up and everything, and everyone just all of a sudden like just it's just like a the crowd just like just like what? stops. Yeah, yeah. I, I I was wondering if the crowd was gonna like notice there. It seemed like they didn't really because of all the smoke and stuff and lights, but. But at the same time, they seemed into it because, like, the whole, like, it kind of seemed funny because it's, like, it's so different. It's, like, when you say chain or when we say chain, you say smokers, chain, chain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're kind of into it, actually, like, mm-hmm. saying, like, it's only one clip. But, like, yeah. but like you know, I just thought, like, it's kind of an interesting marketing, like, kind of tactic to come back after two years and everything like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's the thing. If they, if it was kind of just, like, they dropped an album and right after brought these guys out, it's, like, okay, that's kind of weird. But, like. It's cool to do it after two years because it could actually be like, oh, yeah, I changed my hair. I gained weight. But then it's like, oh, that doesn't look like the guy at all. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, like, like, yeah. it's like, did you get like a wait, plastic surgery? Or <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you like change, change something? Like you you change something? Like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, The other thing I was going to talk about was uh, the Christmas break. How was your Christmas break? Blessed. I, uh, I normally on Christmas breaks, I just chill. You know, do family stuff. It was kind of different this year because of COVID, obviously. We didn't really, like, I saw my family, but, like, not like how we usually do. Yeah. Italian family, we usually have, like, 50 people in one house. Like, Jeez. massive table, lots of food and stuff. So, there's food, like, going back and forth to everyone's house. But, so, that was kind of our, like, Christmas so you guys have the rule, type like, thing. Like, when you guys have, like, a massive thing, do you have the rule where, like, 
you can't go for seconds until everyone is like dished up. No, 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 no. There's always enough for seconds and there's always leftovers. See? Even after everyone just destroying food like see we yeah. always had leftovers but the thing was like we didn't have like 50 people but like at the same time we had a good amount mm. but the problem was but the thing was like there was a it was a it was a rule that everyone kind of like grew up with and everything like that it was kind of like it was said but not said mm-hmm. um whereas like you don't go up for seconds and it sucked if you're first in line because the kids went up first in line for right? sure so the kids yeah. are always dish up first yeah and by the time you're done your meal you want to go up for seconds, but you got to wait for the stupid fucking line to get their fucking meals. Like, bro, just grab the food and eat it and so mom, I can come and bro, get food. That's what I'm food. saying. Some people eat slow. It's like, oh, man. No, that definitely doesn't happen to my family. That, I'm I'm grateful for that because – but th- that's the thing, though. That's like traditions and stuff. We have like weird little traditions like that. Like now my step family, every time we cut the cake, got to put it in. The next person's birthday pulls it out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So oh, now, now I always do that, which I've never done, but like started in the last like six years. It's kind of cool how it kind of like passes down through mm. generation two and everything like that. Um, but like, um, my Christmas, like what, what, wait, can, before I go actually onto like this story, cause I got a, I got a whole story here for sure and everything like that going from like my drive and everything like that. Mm. But, um, what's your favorite thing on the, like on the table? What's your favorite? Ooh. Oh, I got like, it's got to be even though. So like my, my Nona passed away recently this year. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. No, no, no worries. It's all good. It's all good. She was, I was ready for it. So it's all good. Um, But her lasagna, oh. incredible. All homemade little tiny meatballs in between. My aunt made it this year and it was really good. It wasn't the same. You know, she grew her own tomatoes. Like it was like everything like homemade. So obviously it's not going to be the same. <laughs> But she made it though, and it was gas, and like I hadn't had it in like two years because my nona hasn't really been able to cook. She had like hand problems and stuff. So oh, yeah, yeah. So having that was like incredible. Like I gotta say that that homemade lasagna, and just so good. That's sweet. I like. I love that, and I love lasagna actually. Like it's one of my like like it's very basic, but pizza and lasagna probably like my top two foods. Mm. Like because like for one lasagna you can't eat so like ricottas cheese and that. <sighs> Yeah, bro, you're making me hungry right now. I so just good. ate. But, like, <laughs> but bro, you know what's also fucking amazing? Um, pizza. And I, why I love it is because, dude, oh my gosh, the amount of different variations you can have pizza. You can have like the meat lovers, you can have veggie, you can have everything. Like, bro, That's it's so like, there's, dude, there's something for everyone. And it's all of it's good. That's and the thing. All gosh, like, good, there's, there's barely a pizza where you're like, ugh. I mean, I had one last night that was kind of gross at my friend's house, not going to lie. But it was weird, though. It wasn't like a normal type of pizza. There was some weird, like, plum puree sauce on it. It was weird. But mm-hmm. but some people would like it, though. Like, I get the flavor. Just But most pizzas, bro, you put some meat on there. There's cheese. It's greasy. Oh. The dough's good. You're blessed. You know what I want to do? I want to go to, like, an actual pizzeria kind of place. You know, like, the whole, like, stove oven. And, like, they actually make mm-hmm. it. I mean, like, toss the dough and everything. Because, like, let's get... Pizza Hut, Domino's, everything like that is so good. But at the same time, like, it is still kind of technically fast food. You know, for like, sure. For sure. So I want to I want to go to, like, I want to go to Italy. And I want to get, like, a motherfucking pizza from there, bro. Oh, yeah. Bro, you got to come through Burlington. I work at a place. All of us. Shout out all of us. Hey. It's a, let's go, guys. It's Hopefully a great place. Hopefully you guys place. are tuning, tuning into the podcast, too. Ronnie, I know you're watching this. You better be watching this, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> um but the, like it's a greek place so normally greek food the lamb uh chicken souvlaki etc but these famous pizzas ronnie's from montreal so he he makes he's been making pizzas for like 25 30 years and i'm actually the pizza guy now so i'd be throwing Ooh. that dough bro all of it fresh dough homemade throwing that bitch up in the stone oven oh it's so good man oh you got gotta come through sometime burlington or i'll bring it down or something like that Hundred percent. Well, sure. the next time you're on, well, uh, you know, while we're listening to the mix and everything like that, while we're taking our little break and everything like mm. that, we'll like snack on some pizza oh, and yeah. like that. Maybe show it to the camera so all you guys can be freaking jealous that I like our Burlington pizza. Hey, look at that! We got a new background and everything like that. We no longer have a pill. Yeah, that's a vibe though. That's a vibe. Yeah, fuck with that. Damn, that's crazy. That's I'm gonna cool. get distracted. I'm gonna stop like looking like. I'm yeah, just for gonna, like, real. For real, I'm just gonna end up there just like just sitting there. You gotta just stare into my eyes. Staring into your eyes? Like, you gotta stare into my eyes. I can do that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Um, but what's your favorite topping on a pizza? My brother's going to be cheesed when I don't say pineapple, but it's definitely got to be like classic pepperoni, man. That, really? That with like anything. Like obviously I like multiple toppings, but like pepperoni, I just feel like fits pizza just perfectly. Good pepperoni too, man. Nice catch. Look at that. See, dad, I'm telling you, I'm like, I'm fully functional right now, okay? Don't shake your head at me, okay? Because I can tell. He's like, I know you're probably not even watching, but like, I know you do kind of like somewhat tune into what I'm doing. So like, stop shaking your head. But um, my personal favorite, I don't know. I, I like I like so many. I like a good meat lovers. For you sure. Know, the sausage, for sure. pepperoni, ham, and everything like that. Like, I love everything like that. Um, but at the same time, like, I actually do agree with you on the pepperoni because mm -hmm. honestly like it's a basic thing but at the same time like it's so fucking so good. good you get a crispy piece with the edges crispy every once in a while it's like Ooh. oh my gosh it's That's so just good gas. you know what um my buddy he gets dominoes all the time and everything like that and the same with like pizza i think he does the same thing he does he so he doesn't i would add to it because he doesn't eat like he only eats chicken so okay. he would get sometimes he gets chicken on it sometimes he doesn't you get chicken extra cheese and banana peppers on there. Ooh, I love banana peppers on pizza. Thin crust. Ooh, thin crust too. The Italians oh. would be proud. Bro, I'm telling you, like when I ate, when I looked at it, I was like, bro, what is this? Like, dude, like, what is this on a pizza? And everything like that. I wasn't going to judge, but in the head I was judging. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to lie. It, yeah. I verbally wasn't judging, but in my head I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, you're thinking <laughs> like, what? I got to eat like 10 of these. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you know what, you know what catches, me off, catches me off guard? Thin crust. Same price as pan. But at the same yeah. time, you're getting less. Yeah, that is a little bit annoying. But it tastes so good. Exactly. Because you're getting so. more... I feel like the dough, when it's so thick, it just takes away from... Yeah, it is filling, but it takes away from the from the toppings too, yeah. you know? The cheese, like... You have a nice thin crust. But I'm Melts you, in your mouth. Oh my gosh. What I want to do with this pizza is I want to get like some like... I, I, I kind of want to try pepperoni. I want to try some chicken. A little bit of pepper. Oh, you no, know you want chicken, a little bit of sausage, the banana peppers, extra cheese. And I do kind of want to try a stuffed crust with that because I think okay. that would be a really good combination. Bro, we should make pizza here one day. I know how to dough it. Like, I know how to dough it up. I'll throw it and shit. Hey, do the fucking. Hey, just don't hit the roof because I don't know if you guys can see the roof, but it's like that it's little, like, that low. sputtery stuff that's going, like, you know, you got Stucco. Like, that's what it's called. It's called stucco. Stucco? Yeah. This stuff sucks because yeah. like when you ever hit the roof, you know, you, just, you look at your hand and you're sitting there like, holy shit, someone just came on my knuckle. Yeah. <laughs> the roof just all came. All white, all white. Who, who was over here? Uh, someone. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think we're going to, I'm going to come back. We're gonna, When we come back, I'll talk about the uh, the whole road trip and everything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because I, I, I did something allegedly that I'm really proud about and everything like that. So you should be. Yeah, I, you should, I should be. be. I know. Like whenever when you're proud about something, don't let it go. No. And I'm never gonna let this go. Tell it to everyone. Exactly. Unless they don't want to hear it, but well, probably we, still tell it to them. Well, like, hang on. So, if you guys want to hear about this amazing accomplishment, I accomplished on my way back home. Amazing. Listen to the mix. We got some awesome songs coming in. Hang on. Oh, we got your tracks coming in. Actually, Ooh. we got Hell of It playing again because hey. like awesome track. I genuinely love it. Hey. Like I don't listen Thank to you. rap a lot, but I genuinely love it. Appreciate that, man. And we got your latest one that you put out, Back Up. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Around by Dyro. This is a new track and everything like that. It's a little bit different because we got like rap and then we're going back into like kind of like an EDM vibe. Mm -hmm. And then we're finishing up the the mix with uh, the Motto by Tiesto. Okay. Yeah. So like that's a track that's been popping off. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, let's listen to some music, and when we come back, we'll talk about what I am very proud about. Let's do it. All right, so we heard your tracks. Hell of it. Like I said, banging track. I love oh, it. Yeah. And uh, your newest track, Back Up. By the way, guys, if you haven't checked it out, go check out this guy's Spotify. Go listen to Back Up. Run up these streams. Run them up. Let's go, baby. Um, but I was... Uh, uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the other tracks, you know, we listen to. Um, we also listen to Around by Dyro, which is like a new track and everything like that. And we also listen to Mo The Motto by Tiesto. Killing the charts and everything. Like, oh, man. Banging song right now. Mm -hmm. We played the regular version and I played the uh, the New Year's Eve remix. 
So like it's got like kind of like a little bit of like kind of a house vibe, like that like nice little like groove shuffle kind of motion mm, to it and everything. Yeah. And you go into the remix and it's just more of like oh I feel like you're at a <laughs> the festival. Rager. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um but Okay, out of those other than your track. <laughs> other yeah, than yeah, your yeah. tracks. I what would be don't. your 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 choice? Like so we had one that was like around and it's like it's a nice like kind of like it's got like kind of like a lot more sense, like a lot more like kind of like mm-hmm. everything in your face. The model I personally like more because like for me, I love Around by Dara. I love Dara's music. Like I know you probably don't know who that is. I don't know. But um, Tiesto, like oh man, that song. It's just like it's just a groove. It's just like it's just like you sit there and you're going like, mm, da da, ba 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 ba, yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, it was it was a vibe, man. Uh, yeah, I'm like I I liked all of it really. Like it's just good vibes and it's. It's new for me, so that's like even better. For and me. again, that is why we're here doing this podcast and everything, so you guys can vibe out, doing stuff, listen to some like stupid conversations about shit and the spotlights and everything. <laughs> but um, yeah. Also, if you guys want to listen to the songs we've been playing on the podcast, I do have now a Spotify playlist load up and made and everything like that. There'll be a link in the description down below where you guys can go follow that and everything like that. So that way, like, you like there's new songs going in there that might be in the next podcast. Just like songs that I really like and uh, it'll be updated. So hopefully I'll try to update it. For sure. For <laughs> I'll sure. try to keep it updated and everything. Um, but anyways, we are going to talk about my great accomplishment that I accomplished. That you're super proud of. I was super proud of. So when I was going on, on the road back to driving, right? Like, it was about, like, it's about a 20-hour drive and everything. Like, that 21 hours. I stopped in Thunder Bay and everything like that. I was making it, right? It's um, it's pretty dark out and everything like that. And I'm sitting there on this back road with no, like, cell service and everything like that. Like, eventually, like, I'm like I'm on the highway morning. Like, when am I going to get to Wawa and everything like that, right? And, like, I was like, I got to pee. So I pull over and everything. I get out. Like, bro, I just got to pee. And like I said, like, bro, like, I got out, whipped my dick out. Started leaking and bro, like, you know what? You, it was just, it you felt so sad. You know when you just finally just release? For finally. Sure. Thank gosh. You're, you're sitting there like, uh, yeah. <laughs> the win. The win. <laughs> the win. Bro. But like, you know what I did? I looked up and I was sitting there like, I was like, I looked up. And I'm like, holy shit, there's a mountain, right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pissing on a motherfucking mountain. And I was like, bro. How many people can you say are on their trip from Mississauga up to Dryden can say like, I stopped at a random point in the night, full moon out by the like, way, a lot of stars and everything. And I pissed on a mountain in like a foot of snow. Jeez, there you go. Can you say you did that? Yeah. Technically, yes, without the snow. <laughs> I was on, uh, on multiple mountains in BC. And took lots of pisses on them above the clouds. So, yes, definitely. So that's kind of cool. You kind of took pisses above the clouds and everything. But you didn't do it, like, in the snow and everything like no, that. No, no, not in the snow. So It was definitely summer. But, uh, yeah, that was my great accomplishment. I know it kind of sounds a little, probably, probably doesn't sound like that's, like, extravagant. Because I made it sound, you know, I kind of hyped it up a lot. It's powerful for you, though. Dude, I feel, you know what it feels really good? When you're sitting on a 70-foot, like, you're standing on a 70-foot cliff and you just let it fly. Man, yeah, for sure. You're like, dude, you're just watching it go. You're just, like, see, like. How long does it take for my piss to hit that water down there? <laughs> Probably a while. Probably a little minute. You yeah. know what I mean? Have you ever jumped? Have you ever gone cliff jumping? Yeah. Oh, um, that's so fun. Like not too high though. I'd be down for some like crazier ones, but there's a cliff near my house that, or like a quarry oh. near my house. And it like filled up and it's, it's a great place. There's like a big jump in rock. It's probably like 20, 30 feet maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I'd be, da- no. Legit? I'd be down to do that, actually. Yeah, yeah, Bring the GoPro out, sure. you know, get some action videos yeah, going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. a sick, like, it's a, you can, like, ATV around there and stuff, too. Hey. It's sick. Yeah. Yeah, I think, so my biggest one I did was a 70 foot. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I gotta try that. No, my, it's terrifying, bro. Yeah. Like, you're, the moment you jump off the cliff, like, I, so they gave us, like, a, so they're hyping us up, right? Like, they're going, like, all right, five, four, three. Two, bro, I, I waited for three, and I was like, I'm going. Because the thing was, that if it got down to one, I know I would have started. I would just be like, no, I can't do it. That's, yeah, that's like. I was uh, like, you know what I mean? So I was like, I heard three, and I was like, dude, I was like, I was ready. I was like, I don't, I was like, fuck the countdown, I'm going. Yeah. And as soon as I, like, foot left the rock, like, I, you, if you look at the video, everyone is screaming, just like, whoa, right? But I didn't hear any of it. True. Like, the only thing Here. I was focused on was 
holy shit, I'm falling 70 feet. Yeah. And for like, sure. oh my gosh. It was freaking awesome, actually. It was, it felt like amazing. Like, it was like, it, the amount of dr- adrenaline that was like coursing through my veins was mm-hmm. fucking insane. It was at like a, like a place. Like, you did it at like a, like they had it like set up type thing. Like, it was a, it was a quarry. Okay, so Actually. so it was just with like a bunch of friends, and you just jumped. Yeah, yeah no, it was like we were having some yeah, beers and stuff sure, like that, sure. you know, chilling, yeah. and uh, we like, you know. But the rule was you couldn't do the twenty five foot, the ten foot, the the forty foot, until you did the seventy foot. <laughs> so you could be the opposite. There's no lead up. It was like because they said if you do a lead up, you're gonna not want to do the seventy yeah, foot. Yeah, true. So they said you have to do the seventy foot first, and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Like, what? Like, you trying to kill me? Like, what's going on? And so, like, but eventually I did it. Eventually I was like, and I don't regret it. Like, by no, the way, that water was cold. This was, this was like June or like late March. The water was like, I immediate, like, my body was just sitting there. Like, for one, I jumped off a fucking 70 foot cliff. And the other thing was like that. I just jumped into like some major cold water. So I'm coming up and I can't even breathe. I'm going like. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> like, it was messed up. Yeah, it was so sure. bad. Oh, my gosh. But um, what else? Oh. So, pricks with LED headlights. Oh, yeah. You were telling me about this. Oh. Bro. Gotta hate them. Bro, you're Gotta on your... Them. So, imagine this, okay? You're on your you're on your trip and everything like that, right? You're trying to get home and everything like that. You're on your 14th hour of driving. It's dark out. And there's these guys that aren't even turning off their high beams. And they got LED lights. And they're sitting there. You're sitting there going like... You can't, even, bro. Like, what do you want? And even when they pass you, you just got this massive blind spot For now sure. in the middle of your vision. You literally like, can't bro. see past the car, bro. Like, you know what? It's great that, like, you know, I'm gr- I'm glad you can see. I'm glad you can see everything that's happening in front of you. But, bro, I can't see. <laughs> I yeah, can't you, see. when you're yeah when you're driving at night, you got to turn off your high beams when you see a car coming. Oh man. my gosh! Especially if worst. you're wearing like LED, bro. For sure. It's, oh. For sure, it's just extra brightness, extra distraction. You know. You know, and you don't need to see that much. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't need to see, like, I don't need to see, like, 50 feet, or I don't know how long, far 50 feet, but I don't need to see, like, a, like, two kilometers down the road. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's fucked. It's so stupid. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Um, what was the other thing I was not going to say? Um, but your Christmas break. Yeah. What do you Christmas do on Christmas break? break? What I do, what I get up to on Christmas, a lot of hockey, that's yeah. for sure. A lot of hockey. Jealous. It was like a, a week of hockey, and then it was like a week of like messing around. We were partying and stuff like that, sure, of course. Sure. And then the the week after that, because I ended up staying an extra week, so it was supposed to be a two week break, right? I stayed for a third week, and like that week was like it was less fun, that's mm. for sure, because I was doing school. By the time I was out of school, like you know, buddy was like tired or off shift. He was yeah. working the night shift, so like he couldn't really hang out in the evening because like he's trying to sleep and stuff like that. For right? sure. So it was, it was a little annoying. Like, the week kind of, like, dragged on. But at the same time, like, it wasn't bad. It was nice being home. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, yeah. What else we got here? I'm looking at my notes here. Um, What we got? (laughs) That was a good one. Dude, I feel like I can't talk about this because I talked about shit so much. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe not. But but continue, though. I I will. You know what? I will. Because you know what? I might cut you off if it's too much, though. Okay. I might have so, to for the so integrity I, of the podcast. In this week of, you know, like, partying and stuff, we were, we get back and we're like, you know, we're like, we we were drinking and everything. And my uh, my cousins asked me, like, do you want me to make some weed cookies? And I look at her, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I kind of do. Like, I actually kind of do. So I was like, okay. So I, you know, I indulged a bit and everything like that and everything. Indulged I had a, I had a, a couple cookies and, yeah. you know, and everything like that. I was feeling good. And, uh, but the next morning, bro, oh my gosh. Holy cow. Bro, I don't, like, it was liquid. Oof. For Gross. a whole two days. Gross. You might need to cut that out. Like, bro, I'm sorry, but like, I, I, bro, I'm sorry, but it was. And Any, like, anyone who's eating right now, sorry. I'm sorry, all you guys that are eating out there, but at the same time, like, you shouldn't be eating right now because, like, you're, you're listening to the Bow Base Beat Sesh. Like, there's a lot of disturbing True. stuff that happens on this podcast. True. And, like, especially when I'm like with, like, someone like you, where, like, we just get someone like we kind of just, like, I'm sorry, but we kind of just, like, a, it, it's mentioned and then we kind of just keep going with it and then it ends up being like a half hour segment. Apparently. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, no, like it was that was not fun. Like, bro, like you know what? They were it was awesome at the time. The, the days after it was it was like it it sucks. It's like it's not even like a hangover. It's just like I feel fine except for I'm just in the bathroom half the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's what that's what happens when you you, you probably ate food as well because you were stoned, eh? Well, I was a little bit. Like, yeah. it was definitely a little bit. Like, I wasn't like I wasn't like super stoned or anything. I was like, because I was drinking. I wanted. To, I didn't want to like. I didn't want to like eat. Uh, you know, eat was, a bunch of edibles. You know. Get super fucked. Yeah. No, I just want. I was like, because like I do enjoy my alcohol more. I was like, sure. so, like I'll indulge here For and sure. there and everything like that. So I got to do like I'll, I'll do it here and there, but I got to do like I enjoy my alcohol way more. As you can see, we kind of dug into the bucket. And everything oh yeah, like that. you're and almost there. Like, yeah, you're almost yeah, getting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like. Uh, I feel like it's probably time that we wrap this up because it is like um, quarter to one now. Almost one in the o'clock. And everything. And like I said, Hell we yeah. do have tenants upstairs. So like, you know, like you don't want to like, Get don't want to anger them. It is the middle of the week and everything like that. Because like we you weren't, we were a little like busy throughout like the weekend. We were busy throughout the week. We tried to set up our quarantine, but we just couldn't find one. We're grinding, man. That's what it is, bro. Just straight grinding, bro. Exactly. And you know what? Like on that drive, I got so many ideas like for this podcast. Like a lot of, so many topics, ideas and everything like that. Because it genuinely got to the point where, like, after the after like the twelfth hour of being on the road, I genuinely couldn't listen to music anymore. Yeah, you just gotta like think or like throw on something else. Like, I threw on a podcast, an audiobook podcast. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And I got so many ideas for my podcast and everything for there, like like doing the video and everything like that was something I wanted to do because like I saw it, I was like, you know what, that is a great idea, and I really want to do the video because it gives something for you guys, like not you guys to look at and everything like that, but it just it gives something like you know promotion game because my promotion game is not that good i come from a small town like and everything we hated it when you spammed your story true fair enough we hate it when you spam your story yeah. so i'm trying to kind of get out of that because like it kind of as in the music industry you kind of have to learn to promote and for sure kind of like have some you always Huge gotta have part. something going you know what i mean yeah like if it's not music you gotta make sure like you know like because if you have followers and stuff like that they want to like you want you know they want to like keep them up to keep date it, you know up to like, date and everything if, like if that what's fan, going on yeah yeah Exactly. They want to know what's going on. They want to. They want to see more content. And, if they wanna and you like, want to make it. Exactly. If you're a content creator, you want to make it. That's and the then thing. you got the weirdos that want to stalk you like all the time. <laughs> like how I do to you. I mean. What? This uh, is news to me. What? Do what's, that. what? We, we might have to wrap it up. <laughs> we might have to wrap this up. Hang yeah. on. I go. Okay. <laughs> but um. Okay. So, anyways, like I said, thank you, Nick, for coming on the podcast. Rails great. We'll have you guys on. Like, we'll have you on later. For sure, man. Time and everything like that. For sure. Um, like I said, if you guys want to listen to like, um, because we're gonna be posting the videos on the on YouTube and everything like that. The full video, like the full podcast, will be on Spotify. The music isn't gonna be on YouTube and everything like that. But the full podcast will be. What did I say? Spotify. Yeah. You, Sorry, I didn't mean Spotify. We don't. We're, we're not there yet. Spotify. If you want to do a deal with me, by the way, like that'd be awesome. You, like you could put it on Spotify. We you can, can just. We, I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys might be able to listen to this on Spotify. Yeah. You know, that'll be awesome. My boy Nick's gonna help me out. Um, but otherwise, um, full the full podcast will be on SoundCloud and everything like that. If you want to listen to all the songs, like everything like that, link in the description. We got like we got playlists going on and everything like that. The uh, the videos, the highlights will be on YouTube. So go subscribe to that. Ding dong that bell. <laughs> ding ding dong it and follow me on socials. Carmen B H E on all my socials. Carmen exactly. B H E. And uh, so yeah, so thank you guys for all tuning in. If you guys made it through this whole thing, you know, shout out to the uh, twenty guys that tuned into the last uh, for sure, podcast. man. And uh, hopefully we get let's shoot for twenty five people this time. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, shout out the Peace guys. Out. Have a good night. Go drink a beer. Peace.